Alvaro Morata, every single one of you guys and girls want to see him signed, want to see that transfer pushed over the line. And the general consensus is hopefully that will happen this week. Can we see Morata being announced as a Manchester United player before we fly out to America on Sunday? Previously, Alvaro Morata's agent, Juanma Lopez, he visited the Santiago Bernabeu. That was a few weeks ago, just to sort of hopefully push through the negotiations, linking him with a move to Manchester United. Now, once again, Juanma Lopez was at the Santiago Bernabeu. This time, he was accompanied by Alvaro Morata's father. Now, hopefully this is another indication that this is stepping in the right direction. If Juanma Lopez met with Real Madrid a couple of weeks ago and the meeting again now, for me, that is an indicator that things are still moving in the right direction. It's just been painful. It has been slow, but things are moving. And seeing Morata's dad and Morata's agent once again meeting with Real Madrid shows me that negotiations are still going on. And that is a good thing. Now, on the one hand, you've got the British press saying that Manchester United are hopeful of completing this deal within this next week. And then you've got the Spanish press who are saying that hopefully this could happen in the next 72 hours. Now, Spanish newspaper AS go into this in a little bit more detail. First things first, they say that Man United have had a 70 million euro bid rejected by Real Madrid. And something they make abundantly clear is that there's two reasons why the negotiations stalled for quite some time. First off, Real Madrid wanted to wait until Florentino Perez was elected as their new president before any of these negotiations took place. And the Cristiano Ronaldo situation made it a hell of a lot more difficult. It was a curveball that Real Madrid probably weren't expecting. Man United certainly weren't expecting. And because of that, things were delayed. As soon as the Ronaldo stuff broke, everything else just got pushed to the side and everybody was talking about Ronaldo. It's exactly what Ronaldo wanted, but it didn't help Ed Woodward, Man United or Jose Mourinho in this move for Alvaro Morata. So we've got Alvaro Morata's dad and his agent both discussing the move with Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. You've got AS, the Spanish newspaper, saying that they are hopeful that this deal is going to get pushed through in the next 72 hours. But what did Marsa have to say? Now, Marsa are the pro-Real Madrid propaganda newspaper. Whenever they say things, it is in the club's interest. Now, Marsa say that Morata has made it abundantly clear that he wants to leave Real Madrid. And they reiterate the fact that Morata has agreed personal terms with Manchester United and that it is just down to the valuation. This has been going on for some time now, this exact position in the idea that the player's terms are agreed, the player wants to leave, but the fee can't be agreed. It's the fee. Now, they, re they repeat the fact that it was a 70 million euro bid that was rejected and that Real Madrid want 90 million euros. I don't think they'll get 90 million euros, it's, and that's where the negotiations are coming to this grind, this stalemate. Because United are refusing to head to 90, Real Madrid are refusing to dip below 90. Hopefully we can meet in the middle. 80 million. That's definitely United overpaying somewhat for a player, and that's definitely... Well, that's, no, that's it. Real Madrid are still getting a hell of a lot for a player they, they don't really want to leave, but wants to leave. And if a player wants to leave your club, just like we have Ronaldo for one more year before he left, you have to let him leave. Now, at the same time as all of this is going on, Duncan Castles has piped up with his latest insight into the transfer window. As we all know, he's very much linked with Jorge Mendes and Jose Mourinho. So whenever he speaks, we listen to what he has to say. He published an article yesterday on Yahoo Sports saying that Jose Mourinho is frustrated with Ed Woodward for how he has acted in this transfer window so far. Whilst Ed Woodward is out in New Zealand watching the British Lions on tour, Man United are not completing deals for players. And that, by the sounds of it, has irked Jose Mourinho. And one thing you really cannot underestimate in this whole situation, Jose Mourinho likes to get his signings done early. Let's take a look at last summer, for example. We signed Eric Bai, we signed Zlatan Ibrahimovic, we signed Paul Pogba, and we signed Henrik Mkhitaryan. Now, Pogba, he was signed in August, but Ibrahimovic, Bai, and Mkhitaryan were all complete by July the 6th. Now, Man United did fly out for their pre-season tour, I think about the 19th of July last year, and we're flying out a little bit earlier this year, around about the 9th. But that's no excuse for Ed Woodward not getting these deals over the line. But Looking at the flip side of this, let's look at the transfer window as a whole. I would say in the Premier League, only Manchester City and Everton have really made a statement so far this summer. We see Liverpool. They fucked up with Virgil van Dijk. They're struggling with Naby Keita. They've made a couple of signings, but Liverpool are struggling. Arsenal are definitely struggling. Have bids rejected for Lamar, for Lacazette. 
Chelsea, who have they signed? Nobody. Then you look at pff, Spurs, who have they signed? They didn't even look like they're trying to sign anybody. So the market itself is moving slowly, apart from City and Everton, who have both done very well so far. So in the grand scheme of things, United aren't too far behind. But it's more the fact that Mourinho wants his squad in and ready together for that pre-season tour and using that trip as a bonding tour to get that squad 100% glued and ready for the season. Now, if Morata doesn't come in, I'm sure he can fly out there and join up with his teammates a few days, a week later. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But Mourinho wants his ideal situation. And that ideal situation is Morata joining Man United before Sunday. Now, the Spanish press are saying that could happen in the next 72 hours. The British press are hoping that's going to happen in the next week. But when will it happen? For me, I really do hope it is a case of when and not if with Morata. And I would be very surprised at this point if he ended up signing a new contract or he stayed at Real Madrid. The player wants to leave. He wants that first team football, which will never, ever come regularly at Real Madrid for him. But fingers crossed this is going to happen this week. The consensus is that an announcement is expected this week for Morata. Would you be happy with that? Of course you would be. Fingers crossed it does happen, but everything is moving in the right direction with Morata. It's just that the slow market, Ed Woodward's being slow, but the transfer market as a whole so far for Premier League teams has been a very tough market. All these inflations in prices, the TV deals, the money coming into the clubs, Everton paying 30 million for Michael Keane, 30 million for Jordan Pickford, it goes to show the money that's in the market. And any, any other club around the world, when their Premier League club comes knocking, they know that they've got the money. At least not if it's Manchester United. And that is exactly why Real Madrid are squeezing us so hard for that extra 10, 15, 20 million euros for Morata. But hopefully that announcement comes this week. That's the general consensus. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video, ladies and gents. Subscribe to United People's TV if you are new. See you soon. Take it easy.